it has been since the beginning of season two since I last covered the Sidewinder. And there's a lot that's changed with this weapon over the past couple seasons, and I've just never gone back and used it. It's got virtually no recoil any anymore with the right attachments. It's extremely accurate. If you guys remember back when the game launched, this thing was virtually unusable. I would definitely not classify it as that anymore. It's still not one of the upper echelon weapons, but it's definitely got a place in this game. For slower paced players, this kills extremely quick and is quite easy to use. Getting us started here with my first attachment, that's gonna be the Jack Glasses Optic. At the end of the day, this is a preference. There's plenty of options you guys can choose from. This is just my preferred optic of choice here. For the stock, I do have the RB Regal Heavy Stock to help control some fire aiming stability, gun kick, and recoil control. That's kind of the whole premise of this entire build. So you're gonna be getting 15% here to the gun kick, 4% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. And on top of that, we're getting a 5% increase to ADS. So this attachment really is no slouch. For our rear grip, we have the RB Borealis Grip, again for fire aiming stability, along with gun kick and recoil control. 14% to the gun kick, 10% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. And as I stated, these kind of attachments are basically how I have the entire thing built out. Over here to our muzzle, we have the Zem Compensated Flash Hider for, once again, some recoil control and fire aiming stability. Not going to be nearly as crazy of values as our previous two attachments, but it's still important nonetheless. You're going to get 5% here to the horizontal, 15% to the vertical recoil control, and even more fire aiming stability. And our final attachment is a barrel with the Tempest Pres Predator Precision Barrel to increase bullet velocity, recoil control, gun kick, and aiming idle sway. So it doesn't just increase your bullet velocity, it does give you a 12% increase to the damage range, which is quite important, but we're also getting even more recoil control. So you guys can kind of see the entire trend of this build. Control the recoil, make it easier to use. So I think this gameplay is going to speak volumes of how far the Sidewinder has truly come here in Modern Warfare 3. Going from unusable to where it's at now, it's night and day difference. You guys can actually control the recoil. It's used how it's intended. It's a slower paced weapon that is designed to be very accurate. It makes sense. I don't know how they fumbled so hard at the beginning, but if it launched like this, I think you would have seen it be a little bit more popular. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout for you guys on the screen. If you guys needed to pause to copy the rest of this down, we're gonna jump over into a gameplay so you guys can see that this thing is in fact viable. And if you guys wanna go back and give it a try, I think you guys are actually gonna kinda like it. I don't imagine this is gonna be one of my more popular videos because this isn't one of those weapons that everybody picks up every day. But if you guys are seeing this and you want something different to try, I think you guys are gonna enjoy. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. It has been a long time since I covered the Sidewinder. Believe it or not, they did a lot of buffs to this thing to improve the viability and recoil of it. So it's got literally not no recoil, but more or less no recoil. And it's a pretty reliable Three, two, three shot kill, I would say. Two to three shot. It's not going to be perfect every time. You will struggle if you hit him in the legs and things like that. But it's definitely a lot more manageable. I'm sure a lot of you remember how bad this thing was at um, the beginning of the game's life cycle. This thing was mildly unusable. Now, I will say that's not really the case. Oh, please take the riot shield off your back. <laughs> It's still got its negatives for sure. It's not fast. It's not good at close range, but it's from a recoil perspective from a, there's your example. It's not going to happen at close range. It's not going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it, but if you can stay within the proper ranges, you will be pretty successful with it to say the least. Uh, that being said, though, it does leave a lot to be desired in the sense that you have to play a certain way with it. You guys know I definitely am of the more aggressive type of player. So that does put me in a... Oh, Jesus, jump scared. That does occasionally put me in an awkward situation. But you can still manage. So, like, for example, I'm keeping my distance for now. Okay, so we saw him. I know there's a nasty head glitch right here. And this thing does have the damage range to support it. There you go. But I can't just run up on that hill, you know what I mean? Kind of like an LMG in a way.
Now we got a VTOL to work with. This is the hill I would say is probably the sketchiest for this weapon. This isn't exactly the perfect map for this weapon, but I can still make it work. Ow. Ow. All right, advanced UAV, that's definitely what I needed. They were pounding me. Okay, I'm in a dangerous spot here. Yeah, I'm in danger. Okay, good job team. They, uh, the team just actually really helped me there. Uh, I am gonna have to start paying attention to my OBJ time for sure. I think, yep. I think they're here. I think they're gonna hit here. So I'm paying attention to it, but I'm gonna regroup here. Got a UAV, we'll hit that. I'm gonna go all the way around. I'm not exactly getting as many kills as I probably normally would, but it's with good reason. No more. Huh. Oh, they flipped. They're over here. Yeah, I'm not getting near. Oh, shoot. I have a teammate with 21. Yeah, I'm almost getting out killed here. That's the guy, too. I may have to make a risky play. This isn't uh, isn't working very well. Where the heck did that come from? From a perspective of someone being a faster paced player, this is a struggle for me. And I'm only on a 20. Like, I'm not exactly. Okay, that is huge. That advanced UAV is massive. And we got the DNA bomb. Now I got to try to pick up my pace here. I'm going to try to be a bit more aggressive just for kill sake. Yeah, for kill's sake, I'm definitely going to try to push the pace a bit here. I got caught on a freaking barrel. Oh, that's the guy I literally just killed and he spawned in with me. Love that. get that B calm your titties here brother you want to play that game I'm just gonna I'm gonna run you over let's do it yeah this was just run at me all right with our team having the spawns back here they're all gonna be in middle so I'm going to hit this way just to check my bases and then hit here Enemy is down. Changing mag. now they should all be this way They flipped. I'm at 50. My teammate has so much more score than me, though. So no, my teammate is leading the team. We're not going to allow that. We got to get in first place. That's going to be our goal here. Come on. Thanks for coming. Who else? Who, who, who else was there? Nobody? Okay.
My teammates really beating me in the scoreboard here. It's actually quite surprising. Like, homie's got it. Thanks for coming. All right. I'm catching up on him as well. Yeah, that's that gunfight. I just struggle to win. Same guy, too. Thanks for coming. Respectfully, sir. Maverick. I need you to get off this hill so I can... I don't think I'm going to finish on top of the leaderboard here. I don't think I am. This dude Maverick's got 40 kills in two minutes and 12 seconds on the hill. I can't really compete with that. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. A little bit of game left here. I'm dead. Listen, I take pride in my first place this year. I need this. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And I locked in first place with 64 with the Sidewinder. My teammate, Maverick, fantastic job, brother. I love having good support from teammates. I mean, that man was an absolute monster on that objective.